What does a year of setbacks, sweat, and wins look like? Come on inside, find out for yourself. Welcome back to Follow the Whisper. I am here with our two doofy newfies. I sat down the other day to do a little bit of planning for future videos, and when I looked at the calendar, I realized that it has been one whole year since we settled on our home and gave you a tour of the inside of our house. I thought that it would be really fun if we brought you in one year later and gave you an updated inside tour. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I get sick of all of the Instagram stuff where people's houses don't look lived in. When we're completely done with our renovations and we are ready to do a polished video, yes, everything will look beautiful and staged, but right now I just wanted our house to look like what our house looks like. This is our entryway and probably what looks the most different from the last time that we showed you our house. There was a wall here with a pocket door leading into the dining room. And I had mentioned that I wanted this wall to be kind of a feature wall of Jonathan's photography, which came to fruition and I couldn't love it more. We were of course able to get rid of the door that separated the entryway from the dining room. And now our dining room is wide open. From the get-go, one of our very favorite things about this house was the view. Because of having that huge wall there, you couldn't see that view from a lot of the places in the house. And then if you were in the dining room looking outside, the view was blocked because Pretty much all you could see was deck railing. Now, with the modern cable railing that we chose, you can see for miles and miles a little bit of real life for you. If my handsome photographer will show you the window sill here and the window. That was one of the things that I really, really wanted to clean up before we filmed, but I didn't allow myself because I wanted to show you the truth. Our noofs love to put their little snooties right here and look out at the view themselves, which means slobber everywhere and they have lots of snoot art on the window for you. But dining room, 10 out of 10. We love it now that it is opened up. Now onto the kitchen. We did already do a full kitchen tour in another video, so I won't go into too much detail here. Now that we were able to open up our house, the kitchen feels light and bright and a lot more spacious, even though honestly the layout is not that much different than it was before. The biggest change in layout was that we eliminated the tall floor to ceiling pantry that was here because we have lots and lots of pantry storage around the corner. This area of the house is probably one of the few that looks worse than it did when we showed you the last time. This is a work in progress and kind of where we store lots of construction random stuff right now. If you remember last time I did a pretty little twirl in our pantry, this time I can barely even step in there because in real life we just have a lot of things in there. We are converting our laundry room, which right now is solely a laundry room, into a half bathroom. Our goal is to add a half bathroom here in this corner so that when kids are out back swimming and need to use the bathroom or need to come in and change out of their swimsuit, they can just come right in and bring any of that pool water and stuff here. Right now, our kids come running through the house wet. It hasn't actually been that big of a deal. I thought that it was gonna be more annoying and that I was really, really gonna push to have the half bathroom added this summer, but because it really hasn't been too big of a deal, we have been able to focus our efforts outside. The framing that you see here is going to be drywalled and painted, and then we're gonna hang a barn door that will slide over and can lock. Next, we have our living space slash gymnasium. <laughs> the Olympics are going on right now and Annie is our little dancer and gymnast. We've got 
her mat and bar. We have a balance beam and we did have a tumble track at one point. Removing the bulky wall in the middle of the space has really opened things up and allows it to be much more spacious. This room was tricky to put furniture in because it is long and then it is broken up by the slider door. Because it is right in the middle, it really broke the room up and made us have to put our thinking caps on with a furniture configuration. But I love the way that it turned out. We got the L-shaped sectional that fit our space perfectly. I don't feel like it is too huge and yet it fits all four of us and both of our newbies. It's a tight fit when they're both up there, but they can fit. And then what we did, because we didn't want to have dead space, is we actually had this behind the couch table built for us. I love it because it allows us to have taller seating back here. We can sit and watch a sporting event. We can eat dinner back here. We can do our homeschooling stuff. It's really convenient and I really like the way that we were able to utilize that space. The wood burning fireplace ended up not working out for us because it was unsafe. The chimney was actually capped off. So right now this is completely non-functional and just decorative. Love the mantle that our friend Brian built for us. And then we removed the floor to ceiling stonework that was there. It was super weird. It didn't even go the whole way yeah. to the ceiling. So we got rid of the stone up top and did shiplap instead, which I think is super sleek and clean looking. Now we're gonna go down the hallway. Nothing has changed with this. It is still a storage closet. The bathroom has gotten quite a little facelift here. I would say it was kind of builder's grade standard early 2000s. We were actually able to salvage the tub with a cleanup. It was in pretty good shape. But what we did is we removed that glass around and we just opted for a curtain instead. Right now, we all use this bathroom because our primary bathroom is not yet finished, but this will be Clark and Annie's bathroom when everything is said and done. And I thought it was really cute because Clark was very adamant that he wanted gold fixtures and he loves it. It gives the room a little bit of character. This is also your Instagram versus reality thing. I purposely did not straighten up this little girl's room today and did not have her straighten up her room today because I wanted you to see what it looks like when she saw Jonathan and I start to film. She came running back here to clean up her room. <laughs> She's gonna hide her. <laughs> You didn't catch the full mess, but welcome to Annie's room. This used to be a uh, like barnyard theme. There was a big old red barn that was painted on the wall and there were animal decals. We have transformed the space from barnyard and more little kid to Annie's Haven. Even though I give her a hard time because it is not uncommon in this room for there to be Barbies all over the floor, crafts all over the floor, clothing all over the floor. I love her sense of imagination and playfulness and creativity. That is why I didn't tell her to clean up the mess because there are good things that come as a result of it. Her room, when there are not two new fees in it, is a pretty good sized space. She's got a lot of floor space over here to play and read. There are finishing touches in here just like every room. We have trim around her window, but then it's gonna be complete. Clark's room is kind of a construction, road work sort of theme because Clark is a very mechanical sort of guy. And we were able to get the signs that you will see around his room for free from friends and family that already had them. Annie got to choose the bigger room because Clark wanted our queen mattress. He has the nice queen purple mattress. He's got a bed that was built by our friend Brian who did our mantle. And then Brian also built him this awesome desk. The one thing with both Clark and Annie's rooms, since neither of them are humongous, is that you might notice that we don't have dressers in their rooms. We are trying to keep all of their clothing in their closets. Their closets are not very organized right now. I'm trying to think through inexpensive ways to make them usable. But I also don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on closet organizers. Maybe we could put up shelves or 
put storage units in there or something. I don't know. We're still thinking that through. The biggest thing in Clark's room that still needs to be finished is that we need to put a trim piece back on the window here. The trim piece that was there was rotted and we essentially could stick our fingers through it because it was so wet. And for a while when we moved in, we didn't want to put trim back because we could still feel that the insulation under his window was still wet. But for a good couple of months now, even after heavy, heavy downpours, we have not noticed any dampness in there. Dad, when we were analyzing the windows, discovered that there was moss, like thick, thick moss in the um, trim down there. I think there was so much moss in there that it wasn't allowing the window to seal properly. And then when it would rain, moisture would just accumulate down there. But we haven't felt any moisture, so we are at a point where we can go ahead and put that back up. So then his room will be done. Welcome to our primary bedroom. Jonathan is temporarily using this space as an office until we finish off an office in the basement for him in the future. If you remember back to our original tour, I was all excited about having a reading nook over here and I told you that I was going to have a chair to be able to look down into the pasture. Number one, there hasn't really been time for reading yet because we are still in the thick of things. And number two, he needs a space where he's able to work and you know be able to to close the door the basement worked for a short period of time but for now having his office in our bedroom makes a lot more sense and then our bathroom we did make some progress but as soon as things warmed up outside our focus was on the chicken coop which is done and on the deck which we are still finishing up this project has been paused and will resume once the deck is finished we have the tub in here, just need to finish the plumbing. We have the double vanity out in our garage, which is going to go here. We just need to bring it in and get that hooked up. This was a big change with our bathroom in that instead of the toilet just floating over here, we did decide to enclose it and have a little toilet closet. The toilet is functional, that's been nice, so that we at least have two toilets in our house that we can use if and when we need to. The shower is definitely what needs the most work because we have tiling yet to do and we need to get the plumbing squared away so that we can put the shower pan in there. All told, I think if we actually put a whole weekend or two whole weekends to it, I really think that we'll be able to get the bathroom done. Getting there, but not finished. Last time I gave you a tour, Annie did a back walkover in the closet. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, that's the point. She can't do one this time because <laughs> no, we can't. live here now and there's Oh, there you go. She proved me wrong. A year ago, we took you down into our unfinished basement and showed you that. I'm not going to do that this time because nothing has changed down there, but instead, I'm going to take you into our backyard because there is one more thing that I want to show you back there. When we purchased this property, the house was very yellow. But what I wanted to show you out here was a one year update on painting our siding. Vinyl siding can be painted. However, when we purchased our paint, the folks at the paint store were a little bit leery for our plan. We wanted to go from that light yellow color to a very dark gray color. And there are some concerns when you are going lighter to darker. Sometimes it can't handle hot sunny days. We were warned that there could be warping and irreparable damage to the siding. We were a little bit nervous at first because we did that I believe back in September or October when it wasn't super hot or sunny and within the first couple of weeks we did see a little bit of rippling. So we were holding our breath and crossing our fingers to see what would happen in the summer and I wanted to show you a pleasant surprise. It really did withstand the heat and the sunlight just fine. Yes, there are some areas where there's a little bit of rippling, but the back side of our house gets very direct, very hot south facing sunlight. I personally think that this summer was one of the sunniest and hottest that we have had in years. So if the siding can withstand the sun and temperatures that it got this summer, it was well worth it for us to spend the 500 or $1,000 that we did spend in painting the siding 
versus spending probably 15,000 plus to completely repair it and go for a new look. So with the jingle jangle of dogs wrestling and with the noise of Annie doing her bar gymnastics, I just want to say thank you so much for continuing to be a part of our family. If you haven't subscribed already, we hope that you will. It is crazy, crazy to realize that we have been in this house for a year already. And while it would be easy to dwell on the fact that yes, there's things here, there, and everywhere that are yet to be finished, we are choosing to be grateful of the fact that this place is ours, the fact that we have been able to do so much already, and the fact that by doing all of these things on our own, even if that might mean that it takes us a lot longer to get to the finish line, we have been able to save seriously a fortune. So if you are curious what a year of setbacks, sweat, and wins looks like, this is it, and we're thankful. You may have seen a third dog wandering around. This is Remy. Remy, say hi to everybody. She is Jonathan's brother's dog and they're on vacation. So no, we didn't get another pup. Don't get too excited. This is funny because in the original tour video, Arlo followed us from room to room and he is making himself known yet again. Aren't you, buddy? You're the cool boy. Another one of the real life things that I wanted to point out because this totally cracks me up that this faceplate yeah. has been missing for a year, and that faceplate has been missing for a year. Do we have them? Yep, we do, but there's a lot going on. So that kind of summarizes where we're at. <laughs> and she's gonna go, hi, V. Welcome to our primary bit. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> My brain is not working today. That's not even a phrase. Welcome to our. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the epitomizing of nail would, on the head. I, the pin on the head. Yeah. <laughs> we're saying sayings that we have no idea what <laughs> we're making up our own sayings. Just hang with us. This is hilarious. We purchased this magnetic screen door because in the fall and in the spring, we would like to let the door open and let the dogs choose. When they go in and out, you're just gonna lay under. He it. lays in <laughs> it. That's not the point. You're letting the bugs in my house. No, yeah, Did anybody notice that I wore this for the first tour and I am wearing it again?